28 unaccompanied minors live as refugees in this guest house in central Athens, but they're in danger of losing their temporary lodging because the organisation that manages it is running out of money. NGO Arsis hasn't received any funding from the Greek government since October 2017, and the rent is due. Arsis workers haven't been paid for 14 months. We don't know if the baker will bring us bread. Our workers, our employees, have reached their limits. They can't pay their rent. They can't pay their bills. If the issue isn't solved, I'm afraid we'll have to close down this guest house. The Ministry of Economy and Development told Euronews that many NGOs have not sufficiently accounted for their spending in 2017, some haven't submitted all the necessary documents for 2018, and many applications have serious deficiencies. Arsis says it's fulfilled all the requirements. Authorities owe the 2017 payments, and we'd like to know why this is happening. For 2018, we haven't taken any money, so they owe us three months, and April is the fourth. My colleagues haven't given up, and the children have shown incredible patience. About 60,000 refugees remain trapped in Greece. The European Union and the Greek government are funding a series of actions to improve their living conditions. However, our correspondent says bureaucracy and lack of cooperation between authorities may lead to the closure of shelters like these.